What's up? This is Ben from Wad Prep, and today we're going to talk about a toast to bar progression. So I see a lot of people just jump up to the pull up bar and they do whatever they can to lift their knees up and then they kind of flail their feet up to touch the bar and that's great I guess technically it counts as a rep but it's really not good for you uh, especially if you're disengaging your shoulders uh, and it's really not a great way to get efficient at stringing all those reps together so today we're going to talk about a simple progression all I'm going to do to start is I'm going to work on doing levers okay so just front levers obviously not like a gymnast would do where they're doing it really far all I'm doing is I'm grabbing onto the bar I'm activating my shoulders and I'm letting my shoulders and torso move back behind the bar okay and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that a few times and as you can see I'm starting to develop a little bit of a kip I'm actually not using my legs at all all I'm focusing on is activating my shoulders activating my lats to make sure that I can pull my torso back to make way for my knees and feet eventually to come touch the bar. Then the next step that I like to do is I'll get athletes to actually start lifting those knees. Okay, so I'm activating, I'm pulling back, and then I actually lift my knees a little bit to my chest, and then I reestablish my kip. So you'll see I pull back, lift my knees up, and then pull back through to reestablish the kip. And I'll start to have athletes swing back and forth doing that just focusing on lifting their knees up to about their belly button or their chest, but keeping that nice active, active shoulder and lat positioning. Next, we just take that and bump it up a notch. So I'm lifting my knees to my chest, except not my belly button now. Now it's all the way up to, you know, pretty much as high as I can get them. My kip needs to be a little bit more aggressive, but you'll see I'm still activating my lats and my shoulders to get my shoulders nice and high, torso out of the way so that my knees can come straight up. And then, as you guessed it, the next step is actually doing the toes to bar. So I pull back, I lever back, I lift my knees as high as I can, and then instead of you know, trying to lift my toes to the bar, I actually, I call it a flick. I literally take my toes and I flick the bar. They both make contact at the same time, and then I'm immediately pulling them back down and reestablishing the same kip that I was doing in those previous drills. So pull back, knees high, flick the bar and then pull yourself actively back through that window and underneath the bar to reestablish your kip. As long as you can do this, make sure that you're keeping your shoulders activated, keeping those traps engaged, and I promise you it's going to help you strain together these, these toes to bar much, much easier, and then you'll be able to crush them in your next workout. So if you like this video, please leave a comment below. I love hearing about how these videos help or maybe they don't help people. Uh, it, also, if someone's working on trying to get the toes to bar, be sure to tag them, tag some people at your gym who need help with this and uh, and most of all thank you so much for tuning in and uh, be sure to stop by wadprep.com to get more information about what we're doing thank you so much peace